All right, today we're going to take a look at something I'm kind of excited about, and I don't know why, because it's just a USB-C charger, but check this out. It is a PD 140 watt charger from the folks over at Ojai. I want to thank them for sending this over. I just fell in love with this thing, not just because of its capabilities and features, but check it out. It just looks cool. And they were also kind enough to send over this cable. Let's take a look at both of these on this edition of Retro Combs Tech. All right, we're gonna do a little unboxing as we always do, but we're going to start with the cable. Let's take a look at some of the features of the cable. This is the Future Adonis USB 4.2 USB-C to USB-C cable. And what I like about this cable is check out the features. This is a premium cable. This is not a standard USB cable you're gonna find, USB-C to C that you're gonna find for, you know, four or five dollars. This is a premium cable. It supports USB 4.2 compatible with Thunderbolt 5, which is very important if you plan to use this with your Mac. It supports speeds up to 120 gig gigabits per second unidirectional and 80 gigabits per second bi-directional. It also supports up to 240 watts of charging. Now, that is even more capable than we need for this, which is only 140 watts. Let's go ahead and open the box on this cable and take a look at this premium cable. By the way, the packaging on both of these is just very, very nice. Wow, look at this. Not only is it just the cable, but you also get this future to charge, to explore case. Look at this. Oh, very nice. So now you'll be able to distinguish which cable you can protect your cable. This is a, a rubber case, really nice. I like that, I was not expecting that to be inside. And then here is the cable itself again, premium cable, premium quality, feels very nice. Now it's not a braided cable, it is a rubber cable. So if you're looking for a braided cable, you're not gonna find that here, but Again, I love the looks of this, and the yellow just is great for finding this quickly in my bag. You can see the branding right on the plugs here. So let's see if we can actually get this back in the rubber case here. I love that it also includes our Velcro cable to keep everything nice. And let's see if we can sneak it back in here. Oh, I like that. Look at that, very slick. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else in the box. Again, nice premium packaging on this. And here is our instruction manual. We always usually take a quick look at those, see what's included in the box. Let's see, here we go, list of hazardous substances in electronic products, so, so there you go. All right, that's the cable. Hard to believe somebody can get so excited about a cable. Hey, and if you're enjoying this video, make sure you do all those things down below, like, subscribe, thumbs up, Hit those alerts so that you'll be alerted when I release more additional Retro Combs Tech videos. Now, let's get back to our review of the Ojai products. Now, let's look at the Ojai PD 140 watt Mag Cube power distribution 140 watt three port wall charger. Now, here's what I like about this the standard Apple laptop, and again, I'm using this with my MacBook Pro, and I also use a Pixel phone, so I'll be able to charge both of those at the same time using this. But the standard Mac brick that comes with your Macs only includes one charger at a time. You can throw that away and replace that with this so that you can recharge not only your computer, but with 140 watts, your phone, and a supplemental device. So this will be a great all-in-one throw in your bag, keep it with you charger. Now let's open it up and see. Magnetic flap there, again, premium quality packaging. And inside, very, very nice. MagQ PD 140 watt, three port wall charger. Look at this packaging, folks. This is very nice. Little translucent paper there. Oh, high 140 watt PD charger. And here's the charger itself. This is, oh my goodness, this thing is super heavy. I'm not sure how much this weighs, but it is super heavy. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, what do we have here? It says 140 watt GAN right there. You can see that. And the other thing I like is, of course, fold out, fold in plugs. So when you throw it in your bag, you don't have that sticking out. So on here, we have this texture right here. Again, I'm really excited, not just for the charger, but just the design and look of this thing. It just 
It just looks cool in this yellow. All right, we have our instructions. So here's our quick start guide right here. Okay, and as you can see, when we pair these two together, we get a really nice, cool yellow, nice connection there. Very sturdy. That feels really good. And again, just looks great. Just stylish for your travel bag. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is plug this into my Mac and we'll see if it's working. Now, I won't be running any tests on this. We are just going to assume that the folks over at Ojai have 140 watts coming out of this. I don't have an easy way to check that that I am that I'm aware of. If you know a way that I could have checked that, please put that down in the comments below and let me know how you would have preferred that I shared the power distribution from this brick with you. Okay, first things first, let's plug this into an outlet. Then what we'll do is we will connect two USB-C devices. I'll connect my Mac and my Pixel 8a phone and we'll see if it's charging both of those at the same time. I later found that this also includes this wonderful LED status light so that you'll know when you're plugged in and when you're charging. Check that out. Another nice feature. Okay, future me, as I was editing, I decided to let the charger work its magic. And here's what I have. I have my MacBook Pro. Now, this is a MacBook Pro M2 Max. So it's got a pretty hefty battery in it. And then I have my Pixel Ape. Now, both of these, which is really rare, are both at 92%. Not sure how I figured that out, but they're both at 92%. This says it's charging right here. This one has said charging rapidly, 22 minutes until full. I believe this, uh, if I look at my menu bar, let's see what it says. It says 34 minutes until fully charged. The reason I bring this up is what I noticed is when I first plugged it in to the Mac, the Mac said it was going to take about an hour to charge. Now within four or five minutes, I'm already down to 34 minutes. And that was plugged in by itself. When I plugged in the Pixel phone, then it adjusted that, but also was quick charging this. Now, what's also interesting, it says on my Pixel, it's connected but not charging. Now, that will change in a minute, and I know it's charging because I keep seeing this value. So I think that is a feature of the adaptive charging on the phone. Regardless, see, we're already at 93% here. Regardless, what I want to say is this is doing a fine job based on what I've seen charging both of these at the same time and both charging at a very quick pace. So I am extremely pleased with this charger as I've been using it for a few minutes. Okay, now back to old me, past me, pre-editing me. As it stands now, this seems to be working perfectly. And again, this is going to make a wonderful addition to my travel bag. I can't wait to use it on a regular basis. And I can't wait till I plug it in somewhere where people see it and they go, man, that is one cool looking charger. Where did you get that? Okay, so again, thanks to the folks over at Ojai for sending over both the brick and this cool high-speed cable. That's it for me. But hey, if you do like these videos and like to find out what accessories I use with my Mac, check out this playlist right here where I have more items that I use with my Mac, but they'll also work with other laptops. So that's it for me for this video. Retrocombs out.